Outward. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. It is morning for me, but alas, we must uh, soldier on, I guess. Uh, boy, is it just... <laughs> it's one of those days where I'm just, I'm just not awake. <laughs> like, it's been two hours or four hours since I've been awake, but my body hasn't decided, okay, <laughs> now we're alive. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> regardless, today we are going to be moving on to Monarch. Uh, this is the biggest planet that we'll have at our disposal, I believe. Um, it's also filled to the brim with quests, and, and this is like the main brunt of the game. Uh, but with that being said, I think that's, uh, for the most part, I'll be doing a lot of this on my, my time. Uh, what, what I mean by that is basically there's a companion quest in Monarch, and then there's these two giant factions where if you want to get a good outcome, you have to... Um, uh, earn each faction's trust and then uh, in a way meld them together towards the end of it uh, But you need to do a lot of quests for them to build up their kind of reputation so that they trust in you to do good by them uh, Something to that extent, but then there's some offbeat colonies where, where companion quests exist So I think I'll show you those companion quests because it'll take us there uh, But there's also some like mini things where it's like hey uh, Go go into this factory and kill some people I'm not sure if I'll show that to you guys because it has to do with like sissy pigs Which is kind of interesting and weird, but like yeah, basically because this is such a big part of the game um, And I don't want to drag ass in this in this uh, series. I thinking we might just put along you know just make stuff happen and move move quite quickly and not show you guys every single side quest also I don't think uh, you guys would want to see every single side quest also I've been making it a point to show you guys the interesting highlights of every uh, side quest things that are uh, a cut above the rest in terms of generic questing and stuff like that let us begin okay so uh, last time we left off we basically did a lot of quests in that one place um, I don't remember what it was called Roseway that's what it was called um, and Gladys basically sent us there because of the distress call but also she wanted the tech that existed there that uh, uh, Aunt, Aunt Chloe uh, tech basically uh, but we said no we're gonna instead befriend them because they are something that I think can come into play at the end of the game whereas Gladys is just a good way to get money uh, so yeah we are going to go buy a nav key with when we have plenty of money because we have yeah we've done a lot of side quests we also have invested in lock picking which means we can carry the world uh, yes we're gonna keep our companions as well um, again Sam is an absolute tank <laughs> uh, if if Sam had more personality and like actual dialogue and whatnot it wasn't just a generic bot that read off lines off, of, off a sheet of paper um, then I would definitely use him, but uh, but yeah, we are definitely going to be throwing Ellie away, by the way, as soon as we get to Monarch. Well, not as soon as we get to Monarch. We have to do some stuff in order to get a companion, but boy howdy, is this companion pretty fucking badass. It's like a warrior huntress it? level shit. It's great. <laughs> okay, that's why I should sell some trash. And Cleo's going to be pissed, because <laughs> we she's like, can you help me with something? And I was like, yeah, I helped everyone but you, <laughs> but... Actually, actually, we have one gift for her. We didn't completely screw over Auntie Cleo. <laughs> okay. But anyways, regardless, bang. Hello. Well, there was one thing I wanted to test. Be because, yeah, I think if we do this and hug this corner. No, nope, no, nope. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, we'll just pay it. We'll just pay the ten thousand. I thought I seen somewhere on like a speed run where you can get like a the like chip from that and be fine. But it's fine. We can pay the ten thousand. It's not a big deal. Again, money's pretty useless in this game besides upgrading your gear. I told you about on Roseway. Yes, we did. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Well, no, okay. <laughs> um, uh, I investigated uh, the distress call in Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. Um, about those secrets you asked me to look for? What'd you turn up? I, I found the toothpaste formula, but, but then I, uh, unfound it. Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. Yeah, Gladys gives off creepy-ass vibes. Anyways, I acquired some research of a raptodon musk. Uh, interested? We'll, give that, we'll leave that one until last. I found a prototype weapon schematic with force, but I lost it. <laughs> Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Mm-hmm. Um, I acquired some research about Musk. Uh, wrapped it on Musk. Interested? Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say wrapped it on? Gracious. Someone must have hogged them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. A fair few, hey? Oh, boy howdy! That exercise you sent me on was no cakewalk, lady. 
Well, this is the first time I've seen a Persuade above 90. I didn't know they'd be coming for us this fast. Well, mother of God, I guess we'll have to jack up our Persuade then. Um, even though that's, the, again, I don't, this is a rare case and we get like two extra dollars. Not the best example of Persuade, but um, I think that's it, yeah. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Yes, I did. I did nothing for you besides the must. Can't say stuff. I wasn't hoping for more. Yeah. But I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. I will. You can come visit any time. Real creepy, <laughs> real creepy lady. Uh, pay ten thousand bits. I'll buy the. I'll buy the Stellar Bay nav key now, please. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Yes, yeah, she's a now, smuggler. was there anything else? She is a smuggler. Leave. Thank you Any and goodbye, time, Gladys. Getting, you know real, find getting real murder vibes coming off you, honestly. It's a real creepy thing. Also, God, so much leg. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. I know Monarch's a moon, but I think it counts anyhow. Long as there's paying work, you can count me in. See, Ellie's the worst. <laughs> just, just, just like money. <laughs> I'm like, okay, fuck, sure, I guess. <laughs> Why not? She's also just an enigma that doesn't make any sense. Like she's a medic but hates fucking people. Uh, it's just a, it's just a. Ugh. <laughs> I, um, I thought I would love Ellie from the trailers I've seen, but no, she just comes across as a arrogant a-hole. <laughs> but anyways, we're looking at a character that's that's a badass huntress. Uh, with incredibly colorful hair, really enough. Uh, but yes. Also, I think we we've already got the quest from you. I think maybe we just have to double, double check. Maybe. No. Now I think we just need to double. Now, now she'll give it to us. Got it. This quest. Hello. Make this conversation. Hello. Um, I got the nav key from Stellar Bay. I'm I'm, for, I'm up for that job you were offering me, uh, some time ago. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high grade salvage. But he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Got it. I'll take the job. Yeah, again, all these are just like, what's what's Sublight doing in Fallbrook? There's just extra things. There's a smuggler gang that all leads down that kind of understanding. But anyways, I'll take the job. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. Understood. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? Sounds shady. Could be. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Yes. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, buddy. <laughs> sure. But, We're uh... We're not gonna have to hurt nobody, are we? No, we are not providing. We, are. we will always choose the path of least resistance. Didn't mean to shoot. <laughs> that with that timing. I'll always choose the path. <laughs> Bang! Uh, for those guys who do not know, I'm playing on PC but with a PS4 controller. So when I hit this button, uh, this button is like a is like the mouse basically. But yeah, the the like PlayStation D-pad is usually what gets you moving around menus. So when I click that, it, it clicks my mouse button, which is firing the weapon. Uh, so yeah, not good stuff. But anyways, uh, let us make our way to Monarch. Well, first we have to talk to Finnish Wells, and he'll be like, "You did it, you crazy son of a bitch! You did it!" <laughs> and I'm like, "Thanks, Finnish." But I would like to try to get our our, our new companion uh, sooner rather than later. Captain Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. Sure, we could we could quickly listen to this rambling. Understood. You don't think that's a problem? Whole ship's running on a computer's fancy. Then I'll make you nervous, preacher? No, Felix. The concept of a ship computer does not make me nervous. Are you scared of Ada? I ain't scared of Ada. Good. I'm glad we cleared that up. It's just, she's a computer, Max. What happens when her equations tell her to cut off her oxygen? Or blast us all into space? <laughs> Felix, Ada is not sentient. She can't act out of a sense of malice. Where do you get these ideas? I was watching true stories of mechanical murderers last night. One of these days, I'm going to make you read an actual book. There's something weighing on my mind. Yeah, they're bickering, sure. <laughs> that's just that's just a conversation, Ada. But also, Ada is self-aware. They hint at it constantly. Um, but that is also funny because it plays off the fact that everyone's terrified of like an AI that's self-aware. But Ada is actually quite the charming individual. But anyways. Welcome back, Captain. 
Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Yes, please, Ada, put him on screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. You sound like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Where should I start? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Mm -hmm. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. All right, I'm off. <laughs> Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Yes, yes. All right, great. Uh, make our way to Monarch. Monarch, a moon that is barely a moon. It's just giant. It's like It feels like a planet. <laughs> yes. And we're also going to be docking on with this person. Also, I think we should just bump up some Persuade just to be safe. Yes, and I don't think there's... Yeah, no companion has a dog in this fight. No, no like, mission here besides the uh, person herself, the actual companion that we acquire. Uh, but I guess we should put some points into some stuff. So let me explain some point stuff real quick. Um, essentially, right now, like... When, when we're out and about, Ellie will basically be with me. Ellie buffs Persuade and Engineering and I think one other thing. Um, but, and, but basically, I'm, we're always going to have Ellie in our group. Sorry, not Ellie, Pravati. We're always going to have Pravati in our group, so that always kind of uh, makes up for that. Um, so we don't need that much Persuade. Also, what you the like the perks you attain from Persuade are not the greatest either. It just increases this like frightened thing, which is not good because I don't shoot people anyway that much. So I don't activate that. If my companions could get that, then that'd be worth it, but they can't. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so we get, we want to get that to 100, but only when Pravati is with us. Um, so we could put a little more points into there if we wanted, just to get us moving, I guess. Uh, which we might do, who knows. Yeah, maybe 60, and that way Pravati can get us, like, I think, to 80 or something. That would make sense. Uh, lockpicking still needs to be cranked away. Lockpicking, I would still like to get to 60, because uh, that's just important. Again, again, Pravati, I think, uh, maybe Pravati? I don't know. I think someone gives us lockpicking. I don't know who it is. But I think we do have to brute force that. Uh, maybe it is Pravati as well. Maybe that's the other skill. I don't know. Regardless, uh, but but basically what I'm getting at is the things that I really want to bank in are things like um, Persuade or more more specifically Medication, uh, Engineering, and Science. All these kinds of things because these things are not only dialer options, but they just have more kind of fun with them. Um, I don't feel like I need more damage with my guns, although that may change when I when I reinvest, eventually start investing in Heavy. Uh, stuff like that. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, intimidation, again, I don't want any more intimidation, probably. I probably could use a touch more, yeah, companion crit damage, and after we use healing, my companions also get healing. That sounds pretty fantastic. All that stuff. But again, basically, we're lacking medicine, engineering, and things like that, so I kind of would like to get that. Uh, but for right now, let's just leave it, because who knows, maybe we'll need some points later down the line, and we need to purchase that. But anyways, let's keep moving. Uh, again, our main objective for right now is to attain um, uh, the new character. And then also, also maybe, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll give you guys a rundown of Monarch just yet. We could, we have the whole uh, up-and-coming parts to do that. Um, but there's a lot of side quests on Monarch, which I don't think I'll show you all of them. Because, again, they're quite, quite samey, you know? Stellar Bay. No one's got anything to say about this? Nothing? Nothing? As you guys can see, the companion that we're going to stick with we is, is armored. <laughs> That's why Ellie's kind of just fine. <laughs> She's not that leveled up and whatnot. Also, we should save... Hello, welcoming person. Grim! Oh my god! <laughs> what a weird coincidence. Anyways, hello. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Hello. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? I am. You seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. What are you doing out here? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Saltuna and Halcyon. 
Please state your name for the records. Captain Grin to me, I'm Alex Hawthorne. Uh, no, let's just go. There's no negative. It's just like, do you want to be kind of conniving or do you want to just be honest? We're going to say Captain Grin's left. It's his second playthrough. Anyways. <laughs> well, Grin. there's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. All right, all right. Uh, is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. Mm. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Ooh, you're not what I expected to find on Monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. Mm. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they separated from the board, and we're gonna basically... I've stopped spoiling it. We're, we're gonna make things work out. Are you... I'm going to look around town. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Or, or errands. I'm, uh, that depends. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. <sighs> Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Sure, I can ask about the poster, yeah. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Yeah, Celia is a McAhole, though. Uh, just a real bastard. So, we are going to fuck her shit up, <laughs> in, in a sense. Uh, by that, we're just gonna steal it. It's a whole thing. We're not gonna. I, I'm just. She, we're gonna screw over her basically because she's a rude, rude person. <laughs> Anyways, um, hello, new companion. Uh, Nico. I, th I don't know who, what your name is again. How do you say it? And the little bastard, slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding, all over the place, trying to crawl away, getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. Keep listening. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? It looks like you have a thin layer of water gel around your eyelid. Very strange. Anyways. I'm Grin. Pleased to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Sure, another round, but I mean... Uh, should we enable her alco alcoholism? <laughs> or should we say, I'm just here to stay in chat. Or I'll stay in chat, but you look like you've had enough. <sighs> no, I hate to be a buzzkill, but this is, this is me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Another in a long line of damn fools trying to cut me off. I'll buy my own poison then. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? I'm told you can help me find an informant broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass tax. Brass rats. Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my head. Got it. Sure, what uh, What do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month. On account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. All right. Uh, medicine. Uh, you mean caffeinoid. That stuff is a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Sure, I got you, yeah. Uh, um, all right, I'll, I'll be back. Yes, all right, I'll be back. All right, well, the, I think if I said, like, yes, get, him an, get, him, get her another drink, we'd have a conversation with a bartender, so... Yeah, maybe I should have done that dialogue option, but it's true. <laughs> I'm a buzzkill. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just I was thinking about it. And she's like, "Do you want to get another drink?" And I'm like, 
You seem like you're on the edge, hon. I'm I'm sorry, but since who I am, (laughs) I'm going to say you've had too much and I'm not going to enable you. Anyways. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like, hmm? Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. I wonder if it's possible to pickpocket you. I think it Got is. It. Inside voices. Nope, it's it's far too, <laughs> too slow. But I wonder if it's possible to pickpocket this man. And not get killed. We did make a save. If he was the, not the most... There we are. I think people can see us. Although I'm not entirely sure. Nope, yep. <laughs> oh, bueno. Um, persuade. Load. Load save. But we could get caffeinated pills that way. Apparently, that's kind of cool. I never even, never even thought about that. But but okay. we are Keep instead going to talk to this very... Yeah. Ugh. Hello, <laughs> dearie. Why, well, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Yeah. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Mm-hmm. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Um, I've been asked to pick up caffeinated supply, yeah. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the <laughs> professionals. Now, dearie, who is this pick up for? Actually, the pills for me. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's just awful. <laughs> Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? I don't know, Auntie. You'll have to pry that secret from me. <laughs> oh, no. no, I can't. Nika, I think the app. Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Oh, of course, uh, Abigail. I feel like Gladys works more, more with you with that name and your personality. But anyway, uh, there must be a way um, I can increase uh, Nikon's... At, at, yeah, any, any like straight and narrow way? I'm afraid not. Got it. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Oh, um, I thought you were in charge around here, uh, Auntie. Yeah. You sure ought, you sure ought to be. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. Yeah, okay. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Remind me, what supply room? The one upstairs, where we store our medicines. Mm. All right. You can do an intimidation roll. I do believe it will work. But I don't want to be cruel to the old lady. Just be the silent assassin who plucks things from others, which is uh, worse, maybe. (laughs) But who knows? Regardless, that's that's, uh, her. Little creepy uh, nympho old lady. (laughs) Yuck. (laughs) But anyway... I'll jump over here and unlock this door. We're up top side. Oh, you have a locked door? Oh, please. Um, yeah, we can just unlock it with our skill, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. boom. I love that there's no karma tied to this shit. Ha, da, 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 da. Boom, level six. Bra, bra. Boom. Gladys, I'm going to rob you blind. You'll never know. You'll not be the wiser. Also, what is this about? Employee log. Hack if we didn't have the power to create a new account. Well, I guess. I guess. 
Let's go the other way. He's just so glad he didn't see me. <laughs> He's like, oh god, you stole from me, didn't you? What? what? No. Mm. Gladys. Gladys. <laughs> Please. Also, Gladys, I do believe it's entirely possible to uh, pockpick at you and you'd have the key, which is another route you could take. Uh, yes, which I'm going to just steal everything from you because you've you've given me some trauma and I don't want to deal with it, okay? <laughs> this is me getting back at you. Ah. Sounds like wrapped in here. Which I can also take oh, from this work. dude right there. But we're not going to. Anyways, guys, we're okay. oh, dragon ass again. My bad. Uh, we are going to run over here, give it to Nyko, Nyko and have a good time. Also, I don't know what your problem is. Yeah, whenever any, whenever someone has a special name, they're usually like have to do with dialogue stuff, but not so much for him. But anyways, hello, Nyko, uh, Nyko, or whatever, yeah, Nyko. Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business. All of the above? I've got your magic pills. Uh, these are some, s these things are dangerous, you know. Says someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See? I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sensi- Sensible. Got her head on straight. Whew, that hits the spot. I feel attacked. Right in the, uh- <laughs> Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stalking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. Uh, yes. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? Let's find the information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. Mm. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. Yes. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. Mm. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Oh, it's okay. Ellie, you want to talk down to me and say I can't have any fun, which you may be correct, but I'll be old and gray and, and you'll be dead, <laughs> okay? Well, probably not. Fate's a cruel bastard and I could walk out to walk out of the house tomorrow and get hit by a bus. <laughs> so all of the health precautions I've taken mean nothing. But still, <laughs> the effort was there. Ellie, wait on the ship. <laughs> we need Nikon's help for now. I hope you like being part of our crew, Nyoka. We're real excited to have you. Oh, Provati. So you keep Monarch safe, huh? That's real honorable work, Miss Nyoka. Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. See, this is a relationship that's nice. It's not like conflicting all the time like Ellie and Provati. It's like, hey. Hey, you're like Pravati's basically like you're great, Nayoka or whatever, um, and then and then Nayoka's like, well, actually, <laughs> here's some just basic knowledge about the world, lore and whatnot, and I'm like, hey, that's nice, <laughs> that's nice. Or also Pravati's like, hey, your chain gun's smoking or something, and then Pravati will tell uh, uh, Nayoka about some sort of science thing, and Nayoka is like, oh god, no, <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> it's terrifying. But, ladies and gentlemen, we also have another perk point. Also, I made a mistake last time buying this. Uh, yeah, I think I purchased this, but it says increases the carrying capacity. Oh, we know this is good. Yeah, carrying the capacity bonus for your companions. So I think you get an extra uh, 80 uh, carrying capacity if you have two companions on you. Um, we can also get some dialogue seal stuff. Um, this, I don't know if I should. Uh, companion abilities cooldown uh, is decreased for every kill. Uh, with the fact that we're going to be kind of making our, like, using high fire rate weapons to basically get a crit fast so that we can gain better stuff quicker that that works out fast uh it basically all just works out um yeah i don't th i mean this is basically this is something that we'll get down the line this is something we'll get down the line this is something we'll get down the line but not yet well i mean i guess we had to pick something so i don't know um yeah i want to nip this in the butt real quick i i like carrying the world so yes yeah look at that now we have 230 carrying capacity boom um, also, yeah, okay, so this is the companion set that we'll have for the whole time. Uh, so if we go to, uh, Nyko, which by the way, Nyko, um, the way that things kind of fall into place, it, it, like most of the time when you have a crew member, they're like, hey, you're a part of our crew, and they're like, thanks, Captain, I need this, and they'll be with you. Whereas Nyko is kind of like a, 
a paid agent ish but then like they do a really good job but somewhere down the line you just she kind of just falls back like into your crew like you know what i mean like where right now she kind of seems like a, a hired gun somewhere along the line she just settles and, and you're like oh right yeah you were a i paid you it or you were helping us complete a mission and then you just stuck around and it's kind of a nice gradual thing but um i do think we will be well, I have to modify some of these weapons because, yeah, we're, like, rank you know, level 16. Um, but but if, basically, eventually, I'll upgrade their gear, and I'll basically give her this heavy machine gun, which I do believe is better. Uh, just because it has a higher base damage output, and it's also heavy ammo. Also, it has the perk of knocking back enemies. Um, and I can upgrade this thing to have, I think, a bunch of elemental effects. Uh, but anyways, yeah, basically, she's going to be our gun, uh, which also means that Nyko should be... Uh, close to me, uh, and Pravati should be mixed m mid distance. Also, you should also um, always be ranged. You should never um, try to do melee because yeah, not not a good idea. Aggressive, that's fine. Okay, uh, perks. Yeah, let's definitely choose her perks as well as Pravati. Also, we got some perks. Yeah, so we're gonna give you some base. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna give you. Uh, we're gonna go the opposite what route. Uh, this is what I want basically. Um, sneaky. Decreases the amount of threat uh, this companion generates when attacking enemies, making them less likely to be attacked. Uh, this is great, considering that she is... Uh, she. I always want her up, because, yeah, she's just really, really helpful, and Pravati is going to be doing the aggro and stuff like that. But anyways, um, increases the damage done by this companion's uh, gun. That's kind of good. Footstep radius. No, stealth is not going to be a problem, especially with her being in our party. Um, range damage, I think, is what I'll work with you. Also, I think... Mm, I don't think we need health because you're going to be having that threat detection lower. Lie would be nice. Ah, cool, great. Now we can start like being aggressive, aggressive. So this is what now our companions are on a whole new level. So if we get this, this means our companions can basically kill whatever we point out, which is great. Uh, but but I think, yeah, I think uh, we're going to get the extra damage for her. So she's basically going to be our cannon. And then, and then for, sorry, Pravati, uh, we're going to give Pravati the ability for her uh, cooldown to be reset immediately after using other cooldowns. The reason why is because Pravati is basically utility. She puts people on their, on their ass and makes them slowly have to get up as well. She can beat their head in while that happens. But we'll, we'll, we will eventually get this, which will turn Pravati into like a one-shot kill person as well. Um, also, this is kind of nice. Uh, Pravati basically recharges tactical time dilation or it gives us more, right? When Pravati performs her ability, it recharges some of the tactical time dilation meter. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Interesting. Anyways, regardless, now our companions are are set, geared to the teeth and all that. I do think I'll level uh, uh, this up, but for right now, it's just a high level damage. Yeah, it's 800 damage, so that's just looking great. But, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we do want to give you armor, but I think, again, since you're so high level, um, and we haven't really messed around on Monarch, which is also high level, your armor is probably better than anything that I have, although I did sell all of my other stuff, so fair enough. But, you do need a helmet, uh, which you will not actually be wearing, which is great, so you'll have remained faceless. But, ladies and gentlemen, in the next part, we are going to... Yeah, I guess we could do that. We could get a quest from, from a certain someone, because uh, I don't want to do the main quest just yet. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, this has been The Outer Worlds and Monarch. This is some, We're going to be spending a lot of time on Monarch, so just settle in. <laughs> but yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for your time. Subscribe button above me, as well as two videos to my right. Thank you, and goodbye.